backed up because it yeah. was radio. Nobody would have known. Very good, yeah. Minister. Uh, Not the time, love. I'm busy. Fuck off. <laughs> Fetus boy. Lesson one. I tell you to fuck off. What do you do? Uh, F off. You'll go far. Well, fuck off. Why wasn't I told about this? Why the fuck would I tell you about it? I've told you to fuck off twice and yet you're still here. You should tell me about it because it's a scheduled media appearance by this department's Secretary of State, so therefore it falls well within my purview. Within your purview? Yes. Where do you think you are? In some fucking Regency costume drama? This is a government department, not a fucking Jane fucking Austen novel. Malcolm. Allow me to pop a jaunty little bonnet on your purview and ram out of the shitter with a lubricated horse cock. Simon, I've got us on the... Oh, Jesus Christ. Hell, Malcolm. Hey, you're supposed to shut yourself in there, not over here. Um, can I get a coffee? Uh, sure, sure. If we just get started, my assistant should be bringing in coffee shortly. Your assistant? Yeah. So, uh, item. Uh, we need to have a conversation about the mood of the British Parliament, the bumps in the road ahead and whatnot. I'm sorry, I don't... This uh, situation here is... Is this it? No offence, son, but... I mean, you look like you should still be at school with your head down a fucking toilet. Uh, your first point there, the offense, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take it. Your second point, I'm 22, but, uh, item, it's my birthday in nine days, so to make you feel more comfortable, we could wait. Don't get sarcastic with me, son. We burnt this tight ass city to the ground in 1814, and I'm all for doing it again. Starting with you, you frat fuck. You get sarcastic with me again, and I will stuff so much cotton wool down your fucking throat, it'll come out your ass like the wee tail on a Playboy bunny. I thought I was led to believe I was attending the War Committee. Yes, Assistant Secretary of State Linton Barrick asked me to brief you on the work of the future Planning Committee. I'm away. Oh, and here we are. The fucking Vice President has also graced us with his presence. Give him a bottle of milk. Where's the War Committee? I thought I was going to the War Committee. Simon's going to the War Committee. I thought you were doing your one-to-one. -one. Just tell me where the fuck it's happening. It's on the State Department on the seventh floor. Right. Malcolm? What? Do you like how I'm telling you what's going on where you are? Let me tell you what's going on where you are, sweetheart. A certain vinegar-faced manipulative cowbag is about to discover that she's out of a fuck job. Fucking hang up, haven't you? Fucking hoity-toity hey, fucking... Hey, Nothing with curse words, all right? Kiss my sweaty balls, you fat fuck. I didn't say words. Linton! Linton. Mm -hmm. Mr. Tucker, isn't it nice to see you again? Are you fucking me about? <laughs> Is there a problem, Mr. Tucker? I've just come from a briefing with a nine-year-old child. Oh, you're talking about AJ. AJ is one of our top guys. He's a Stanton College Prep Harvard. One of the brightest and best. Yeah, well, his briefing notes were written in alphabetic spaghetti. When I left, anyway, tripped up over his fucking umbilical cord. Well, I'm sorry that it troubles you that our people achieve excellence at such an early age, but could we just move on to what's important here? Now, I understand that your prime minister has asked you to supply us with some, let's say, fresh British intelligence. Is that true? Yeah, apparently you're a fucking Good. master race of highly gifted toddlers can't quite get All the job right. done. All right. Between breast feeds and playing with their power All rangers. Right. So an actual grown-up has been asked to fucking bail you out. Ah, uh, Minister, thank you uh, so much for your support. We appreciate it. And what did you say that uh, climb the mountain of conflict? Right? That's yeah, terrific. Exactly quite Very complicated good. in terms of... It's my... early days, my friend. All roads lead to Munich. All roads lead to Munich? What the fuck does that mean? Well, I think it, I think it just means... Actually, I don't, know, I don't know what it means. While Foster jets around at the taxpayer's expense, his constituency wall is collapsing and he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't say that. No, but he does say wall ace and grommet. Wall ace, though. You're being portrayed as the biggest twat in Northamptonshire, and that's going south. I've got bigger fish to fry, believe me. I'm giving this to somebody else. Jamie! Ah, the crossest man in Scotland. Well, if it isn't Humpty Numpty... What is this, surround bollocking? Hey, with due respect, I hadn't finished. If it isn't Humpty Numpty sitting on top of a collapsing wall like some clueless egg cunt, then I'm finished. Hi, Jamie. This is Toby. Oh, I'm Toby Wright. I'm the son of Zayda. Hi, Toby. Toby, I'm very, very pleased to meet you. Please sit down. Now, right, that's enough of all the fucking Oxbridge pleasantries. I was just like, what's Oxbridge about saying hello? Shut it! Love, actually! You want me to hole punch your face? Right. I'm off to deal with the fate of the planet. Be gentle with them. Oh, you know me, Mark. Kid gloves, but made from real kids. Uh-huh. Right, 
Butch and Gay Dance. This wall story is playing badly. There's a cartoon of you in here as a walrus. A walrus? I'm not fat. I don't even have a moustache. Fuck, they've given me tusks. Walrus? Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah walrus, I can walrus. See walrus. Look, we called some builders. They didn't turn up when they said they would. Now, what did you good... expect? They're builders! Have you ever seen a, a, a film where the hero is a builder? No, no, because they never fucking turn up in the nick of time! Bat builder? Spider builder? Huh? That's why you never see a superhero with a hod! So the wires are all currently reporting that you're going to resign over the war? What? Oh, no, that's not supposed to get outside. Well, it is outside. It's looking outside, like a big hairy rapist at a coach station. Do you know, if I could, I'd fucking punch you into paralysis. 